So this question begins by providing this function, h of x equals x squared minus 3. The question goes on to say which table gives three values of x and their corresponding values of h of x for the given function h. So because, let's check, yeah, because all of our answer choices simply have 1, 2, and 3 for our x values, we're going to just figure out what we expect to have by using x equals 1, 2, and 3. So let's see, what happens when x is 1? Well, when x is 1, we'd have h of 1 equals 1 squared minus 3, which is just simply 1 minus 3, which is negative 2. So 1, so again, x is 1, h of x is negative 2. Now I'm going to test that. So for choice A, I have 1 and 4, so that's wrong. For choice B, I have 1 and negative 2, so that looks good. For choice C, I have 1 and negative 1, so that's wrong. And choice D, I have 1 and negative 2, so that looks good. So just by plugging in x equals 1, I'm down to a 50-50 in terms of my answer. Now let's try 2. So h of 2 would equal 2 squared minus 3, which is the same as 4 minus 3, which is equal to 1. So again, when x equals 2, h of x should be equal to 1. So for choice b, I have 2 and 1. For choice d, I also have 2 and 1, so that didn't help me at all. So now I go to h of 3. h of 3 is equal to 3 squared minus 3, which is the same as 9 minus, oops, 9 minus 3, not 9 minus 9, which is simply equal to 6. So when x equals 3, h of x equals 6. And I see that that is happening here at choice B, not at choice D. So choice B is the correct answer.